of old. Um, on the trip up to Brisbane. Okay. On our way. On our way. Yeah. Over 1,800 and something K, yeah, to go. Yeah. 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 Bit of a slow start this way, though, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. We got yeah. off pretty late. Decided we'd better get a wheel along in Rio, too. So, after the uh, suspension upgrade, just to be sure, we ought to scrub the tyres out before we get to Queensland. But um, it's made a difference to the steering, so we're happy with that. the combi back in the garage mm -hmm. yeah well we've um had this car was going we've done some testing in it worked really well uh i was taking on its trip up to queensland we're going to deliver the vehicle and about 136 k's into the trip we lost power um we had someone behind us following us as a backup vehicle and they saw a puff of smoke come out of the back of the car pulled over quick look at the car and it looked like the inverter had failed so we got it back to the workshop and opened her up and you can see down here that's Ooh. the capacitor in the top of the inverter and it just yeah it turned itself inside out turns out there was a setting that should have been changed after we bridged the inverter to um, give you a bit more power and that was the result of it so from that we decided it's not not an option that we want to take anymore it's there's risks involved that will yeah, it could cause us grief, grief in the long run. So we've decided to change our direction. We're now going to put a Tesla drive unit in it. So we've got that fella sitting there. Uh, so that's an SDU small drive unit out of a Model S, 2016 Model S. So we've got the motor, we've got our drive shafts, and we've now got a, a bracket, um, a cradle so that we can put the, the motor in, which is all this gear over here. And we're in the process of, we've just measured the position of this gearbox just so that we know that when this new motor goes in, it's in the right place. Um, I'm about to drop out the gearbox and do our first test run of that uh, to see how it looks. But, oh, nice. but yeah, big big change. Big change, yeah. Change. And what benefits to the client putting a Tesla motor in over what sure. we had in there before? So it's going to be more efficient. We removed the gearbox from the system, so there's losses in the gearbox. Um, yeah. We'll no longer have a clutch. It'll just be a one one pedal driving system. Um, it will be more powerful. It's a lot easier to tune, so we can just tune this exactly how our customer wants it now. Yep. Um, whereas the old system, we pretty well, we gave it all it could, could take, um, but we didn't have any flexibility in, in the way we tuned it. So, yeah, much nicer in that way as well. A little bit lighter because we're losing the gearbox now. And this, I think, was 90, 90 something kilos. Yeah. So, probably with the cradle and everything, a little bit over 100 kilos. Um, and that's basically what the old, the old, our gear. original motor yeah. Yeah, set up with our uh, adapter plate with things. Yeah, that's uh, 54 kilos there. 54. Yep. And with, oh, sorry, with the adapter, she was 86 kilos. Oh, 86. Yep. Okay. And as well as the gearbox, which yeah. we haven't weighed yet, but um, we do. it'll be a little bit lighter. Uh, yeah. So we've got a few other things to change. We've got to change the cooling system a bit, so the radiator mounts will need to be changed. We'll have to have a look at that. Um, because we don't have our rear engine mount anymore that we've just pulled out um, from, the, from the Nissan later. So I'll have to work on that too. Um And yeah, our, our cooling pumps and everything will need new homes. Our air conditioner, that'll need a new home. Um, yeah, there's a, quite a few changes to, to putting this motor in, but overall I think it's going to be pretty nice. So I'm with Martin here and he's just um, going to explain what he's doing with the drive shafts. Yep, well, we've, uh, we've just put our Tesla drive unit into the back of the combi. We had to do a few adjustments because it wasn't quite centered. So we've lasered our, our motor down the middle. We've measured the center of the differential so that the um, 
it's right in the center between the two uh, the two hops where the when the CVs are going to bowl for two. Yep. And we're now up to the point where we have to make new shafts. So we've had to cut the original VW shaft and the Tesla shaft. We've taken the pieces that we want to keep and I've made up a, a set of um, couplers so that we can adjust it in and out because I now have to work out the length of this shaft. So right now I'm just about to get this one here. I've got some lock nuts on here and we're going to slip that in and try and get it so that it's got even travel in and out as when it's sitting in the vehicle. You, you just made a temporary part here, yep. then we send that to the engineer to make... Once, you, once you're happy with that distance, you make it up. Yeah. He makes so it up properly. We'll lock, once we're happy with the lengths that we've got, we'll lock that in place, and I'll take that out to our engineer, and he'll machine us up a brand new shaft yep. using the original um, CVs from the Tesla and from the Combi. Nice. One little thing we uh, we learned is to take the, the retaining clip off while we're mucking around with this. Because Mark and I were trying to uh, work on it before. And the clip's tight. It took a lot of effort and a couple of knife blows to remove it out. So we, while, while we're setting things up, we'll just leave that out. Makes it a bit easier. So I'm just going to line that up. Just going to do that first time. There you go. So that's the CDs basically sitting where they need to be. I'll time this up after the yep. example. So once that's sitting in there like that, and this is locked into place, pretend that there's this clip in there, retaining clip. Sure. Then I check this check the matter travel. I need to put this on the ground first so that the the suspension is sitting it um, loaded. Otherwise this length here it's going to be a bit deceiving. Is this hanging down? Yep, yep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, yeah, once I sit it on the ground, I'll loosen off these and then I'll, I'll work out how much travel I want. That's a bit tight for the moment. Yep. Because we've moved this transmission. Moved it over. Set it up. Yeah. Um, and I'll make sure that there's enough travel in both directions mm. so that when it's driving on the road, it's not going to be travelling to the extremes of the CV shaft. Sure. The CV joint itself. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, yeah, we'll get on with that now. Excellent. Thanks, Martin. Cool.